Hi there, it's DJ B, and in this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to repair a broken leg on your Briar model horse. So this little guy is super cute. This is the donkey that I actually purchased off of model horse sales pages, and he is the Briar Fest Special Run Oliver, and I got him at a really discounted rate because he came with a broken leg. And the lady told me this when I purchased him, and so when he arrived, the leg was pretty much detached. They had used just a cheap super glue to stick it back together. So first thing we're gonna need is some safety equipment. Respirator and slashes are good. I also like using these nitrile work gloves. And we're gonna be using my Mastercraft rotary tool or a Dremel and with just a drill bit. We're just gonna be drilling some holes in the leg so we can reinforce it. So you wanna reinforce the leg with wire when we stick it back together. So I'm just gonna take this drill and make a little hole in the leg. Being extra careful not to damage the original finish at any point. So you don't want to slip with the drill bit because we want this model to remain as original finish. So once you have that, you can take a very fine sandpaper and just sand down some of the edges. Some of them were quite harsh. There's a bit of remaining glue from the previous repair. So you can just touch up the leg, make it a little more smooth if you have any fragments that came with the break. I'm using a fine grit sandpaper of 220. Then I'm gonna take some craft wire and cut it to a desired length and we're just gonna put it in those holes we made so there should be no gap. Then we're gonna take our classic super glue and baking soda. Uh, before I do this, I wanna make sure that the original finish does not ruin, this guy's too cute. So we're going to actually wrap him in a plastic bag and just leave the area that we're going to be working on exposed. So I just take a normal grocery bag and put him inside. And I'm just gonna use one of those edges to wrap around the leg so that it sticks out. Kind of like surgery. <laughs> then I'm just gonna use some of my blue scotch tape to place all around the leg so that the bag sticks to it and nothing can get inside. And then I'm just gonna wrap that up so that the model is completely sealed inside of this plastic bag. Also gonna wanna do that to the foot just the bottom of the foot. Working with epoxy can get a little bit messy and you don't want any of the paint dripping or anything happening to the model. So now that he is all good, we can super glue this leg back together. So I'm using a makeshift super glue situation here, but normally we would just be dropping a dip of super glue into the leg. My super glue was acting kind of weird. It was a gummy consistency and I wouldn't recommend using this actually. It didn't cure as well. So I ended up throwing this super glue away after this project. So I'm just dabbing that tool into the super glue and using it to stick the leg back together and then I am adding baking soda in every instance so that the super glue will cure. I have an entire tutorial on this process as well. I'll link that video in the description below. And then you're just gonna put that leg together and make sure that it's all good. I let it sit for about 20 minutes so that the glue can cure. And then you can go back in with your sandpaper and sand down any awkward bumps that you get from the super glue to make it as smooth as possible for your epoxy base. And then when you're done with that, it's a good idea just to dip some paper towel in some water and clean up the area from the baking soda that you used so that your epoxy has a good base. And when you wiggle the leg, nothing should move. It should be a solid piece. So now we're gonna take our epoxy sculpt and I'm just gonna roll a very small amount of this. You don't need very much. So now if I was repairing a smooth legged model, it would be a little easier. It would just be adding this clay and smoothing it completely out. But this guy has some texture. He has some herring detail in the leg. So you're gonna need to use your color shaping tool to get the same kind of texture following the sculpture that is originally already there and making sure that you cover both sides of the break so that none of it sticks out and it is completely re-sculpted and like the leg had never broken before. Mm -hmm. 
Also using that paintbrush method over top of the epoxy to smooth it out. I have a full tutorial on this. I'll link that video in the description as well. So now I let the guys sit to cure overnight. I like to let my things cure at least 24 hours. And when we come back, he should be completely firm and you can add that sandpaper again to sand down any weird bumps or lumps that you get. And then we're going to paint over top of what we've done. This is an easy repair because the model broke on a black part of his leg. Black is probably the easiest color to repair. It's the easiest to color match. So I decided to use this folk art black and just added a little bit of water to that. And then a few drops of golden high flow raw umber just to add a bit of a brown tinge to it because a lot of this blacks on the sky weren't completely black, they're a little bit brown. Then we're just going to mix that all together and paint it right onto that leg. You're going to want to cover the all of the epoxy of course and you can go a little bit over the original finish as well so that it blends. When it's finished drying, I'm going to use Vallejo Matte Varnish. This is an acrylic varnish. It works really well. It dries matte and matches the exact texture of original finished briars. And I'm just gonna brush that on. It goes on a little bit blue tinge, but it dries clear. And so there you have it. You have a complete fixed break that you can hardly recognize was broken at all. Then we can undo all of this tape and reveal the final model with his repaired leg good to go, ready to show. If your model breaks on a white bit, especially with briar models, it may not be possible to repair unless you repaint all of the white markings because it will look obvious. It's just plastic if you epoxy over top of it. You're not going to be able to paint over it to achieve a seamless look. So it, depending on what color and where your break is on your model, some of them may not be repairable depending on your skill level and color matching strategy. Thank you so much for watching and happy repairing. All of the tools used in this video are in the description below. Please subscribe for weekly Wednesday Wednesday uploads, follow me on Instagram and Facebook at DJB Studios. Check out my website and sign up to my mailing list to be the first to know about commissions, tutorials, and sales pieces. If you have any questions, feel free to message me.